Hi everybody, uh, Ivan here. Just wanted to post a short instructional video on how to change the rear brakes on a Porsche 997. Uh, this is the second generation 997, uh, and I believe it's basically the same for the first generation as well. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> this is a 2009 Carrera 4S, uh, and I've already removed the rear wheel. So once you've removed the rear wheel, the first step is to remove this retaining pin. It's in a little bit. I've taken it out slightly just to show for illustration purposes. Um, but what you want to do is you'll see it right in the back here on the side facing the inside of the car. Uh, and you want to pull that straight out. Uh, and that's the cotter pin that I'm talking about. Once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to drive this stud. This is a retaining stud that they have <clears throat> that's held in place by that cotter pin that we just removed. You want to drive this towards the inside of the vehicle. From, so from the outside of the caliper inwards, uh, you can use a, a stud or a punch. Uh, I just happen to be using this Torx, uh, Torx socket. It's probably a good way to break the socket, but uh, Torx driver. As you can see, I'm driving the pin from front to back. And what that is doing is that is pushing out the stud. And uh, once I've released that, this retaining clip that basically holds the calipers in place will be released. So I'm going to drive that through. And now that it's through, what I'll do is I'll pull it out from the rear. This is what I'm talking about. So you'll see for, re for reinstallation later, one side's clearly tapered and it's thinner. Uh, and you'll drive that again later on from exactly the reverse of what you did here. So you'll drive it out from the back towards the front. And there's a little hole here, if you look. This small hole is basically the hole that the cotter pin will go through later. Uh, so as you drive it, you might have to rotate a little bit to get the orientation in such a place that you'll be able to reinsert the cotter pin. Once you've done that, uh, these wires that you see here, what these are are for the brake pad sensors or the wear sensors. Uh, some folks simply elect to tie them back. Uh, if you're somebody that's pretty diligent with uh, keeping an eye on your brake use or someone that is going to be replacing your pads frequently because of uh, track use, uh, you probably could just simply tie them back. Um, but what you want to do is be careful with the clip and simply these pull out straight from back to front, as you can see there. And then I'm going to get the rear one out. Do the same thing with that one. And that's released this retaining clip as well as the back and front wire. So I'll just put that off to the side for now. Uh, and after that, the pads pretty much come straight out. Uh, now, if this is the very first time that you've done this, okay, what will be stuck to the back of the pad is a shim. Porsche actually has a shim uh, in place that's glued to the back of the pad with some double-sided tape. Um, and you'll want to remove that shim, and you'll do that by simply taking a, a butter knife or a putty knife and uh, kind of sliding it in this way, and that will release the shim from the pad. So the shim remains in the caliper. If you don't take the shim out, because the back of the shim, there are two small pistons that actually fit into the caliper just to keep them in place, but you won't have the clearance to be able to pull the pad out. Uh, one thing I've also done that I didn't show in the video is, in order to be able to get the pad out, what you'll want to do is use a C-clamp. Uh, I usually will put some fabric or uh, a towel here, and you want a C-clamp here and compress the piston. And what that'll do is that'll push the piston back so that you'll have the clearance to be able to remove the pad easily. So this is the original Porsche pad, uh, and these are the... Uh, these are the pads that I'm going to be replacing them with. They're the Hawk Performance Ceramic Pads. Uh, and as you can see, they are identical in size and shape to the original Porsche pads. Uh, they have the indentations and the notch for the brake wear sensors. Uh, so what I'll do is simply replace these pads. Take out the two factory pads. clip in place. 
want to take your pin and reinsert it from the back to the front. And this clip, you just want to give it a slight push downwards, and that'll, that'll allow the pin to position itself <clears throat> so it rests up against the, the retaining pin. Okay, that's through now. What you'd want to do is you can give it a tap from front back to front. So now I've got it all the way through. <clears throat> I'll reinsert the cotter pin. Place your brake wear sensors and they'll slide back into place. Reinstall the wheel and you'll be finished. Thanks for watching.